Hi everyone, in today's quick tip video it's just showing you how to apply these cam snaps to your projects. Now I've recently made these hand sanitizer holders and they fasten with a little cam snap. You see these kind of snaps on all sorts of things, you know, they're on clothing, baby's clothing, um, everywhere you see these. So I just thought I'd show you how you use them if you are unsure. So, I've got my kit here and I'll just show you what I got with my kit. So, these are the snaps, um, 15 different colours I've got in mine. I believe they come in different sizes. I think these are maybe T3 or T5, I can't remember. But basically, in my kit, I got this box of snaps, which I'll show you in a minute, the setter tool, the pokey tool to poke your hole or you can use a small hole punch and then a screwdriver and some spare bits and pieces. This is the arm that goes through here with a couple of spare ends and then this is one of the cups that your cam snap sits into and that's a spare. So they're all the bits that came with mine. And basically what you need, I'm going to be using a white one, but it's probably not going to be very clear to see on the video. So I'll see if I can get a different colour out that might be easier to see. Let's try the blue. Okay, so you need four elements to make your snap work. So you basically need two of the ones that look like a push pin. So they've got a little, can you see that? So two of those, and then you need two of these flatter pieces. But again, I'm not sure how well you're gonna see it. So one is a wider circle and a lower profile. And the other one is a smaller circle and a deeper profile. It's probably not gonna be that easy to see on the camera but that you'll you'll be able to tell when you get them in your box now i'm not going to use the blue i want to use white but i didn't think you'd see them on the white so i've got this little project here that i've just made and i thought i'd fasten it with a snap so basically how you use these you line up your fabric you can mark it if you want you know, just put a little pen mark or an air erasable pen mark or something. I'm just going to go straight through with this bodkin and I'm going to go right through all my layers. OK, and just jiggle this around a bit so that hopefully the hole will be quite, you know, easy to see. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get one of the snaps that's got the prong, like the push pin and push that in from the outside. Turn it over and get one of the other two. It doesn't really matter which one you use. So I'm just gonna put one of those on top and just push it in place with my finger for now, if I can. This fabric is actually quite thick, so. Then you're gonna bring in your setter and the one that's the push pin sits in the black dish so you slide that in make sure that the one with the flat side with the that look like the push pin is sat in the black dish you can jiggle this around a bit to see if it's you know in the right place and then once you think it's in the right place you just squeeze quite hard press it together and then when you let go that's put your snap on there now I want to fasten it here. So the other push pin with the flat side comes in from the underside. So I'm going to push that through like so. I'm not sure how well you'll see it, but it is there. And then you get your other section that's got the circle on top and you push that down. Now, if your fabric's not too thick, you can generally kind of hear them click together. And then again, the flat side here 
has to go in this black dish. So I'm going to slide. Sometimes it's easier to do it, you know, when it's flat rather than mid midair. Then kind of clamp it together a little bit, just enough to hold it. Turn it over, make sure that the flat side is in that dish. You can give it a bit of a wiggle to make sure that it's in there. And then once you're happy, give it a good squeeze as far down as it will go and take that out. So now, when you come to fasten it, you just push the two snaps together and it snaps together. And this is my little cup cosy. And that's it. I could put another one on the bottom if I want, but I don't actually think it's necessary. So that's just a very, very quick tutorial on how to apply snaps. So I hope you found that helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.